Okay, so today we'll be going through the Mega Joel DCU wiring. Now, what I'll be going through is with the standard wiring of the car. So this is the basics. In other words, this is the minimum that that, that is required to run the car. Okay, so basically I have it set up here like you would kind of see it in the car, you know. So here we have my trigger wheel with my variable sensor, right? And look, I don't have the wires connected just because. And do, if I put the connector on top of that, I won't be able to fish it through the car to get it connected. Then here we have is our coil pack. And here then we have the EDUS unit and my ECU. So we'll start, I suppose, with the ECU. So basically for the minimum requirement of this ECU, you don't need very many wires. So as you can see here now, obviously we have the ground. We have the 12-volt live connection here. And then we have the pip and the saw connection. And basically that's the minimum requirement of the ECU. Now the pip and the saw, as you can see, goes through this special cable. It's called shielded cable. So basically what it is, is it's just a two-core cable with like a kind of a gauze wrapped around the inner part of the cable just to stop interference is basically what it is. So now next we'll move on to the EDOS unit, which I have here. And now, if you actually look at the EDOS unit, it actually says here, pin 1. So, when you get your little diagram to see how to wire it, obviously pin 1 then is here. So, that's the best way of, uh, you know, lining up your pins in the correct order. And some of the wires you don't use, obviously if it's not on this, you just don't use it. Just ignore it. I think there's two or three of them. So, anyway... Pip and saw, anyway, as you can see, is one and three. So we have one and three here, which is the pip and saw. Okay, and then obviously these two wires here. So number two and number four aren't used. Okay, so that's the pip and the saw. Here then is just basically the the shielding, which as you can see here, uh, is joined together from the pip and the saw, right? And also your VR sensor, because as you can see, this is the wire here from my VR sensor, which is also a shielded cable. So what you do is, when you trim back your cable, you just leave that metal gauze hang out and connect one the VR sensor to the PIP cable, the gauze together, and then connect them, as you can see here, to number seven. Okay, pin seven, which is your ground for the, I'm gonna call it the gauze or the metal lining or whatever you wanna call it in your insulated cable. Okay, then for your coil pack, basically very simple it's only three wires okay as you can see here this is the end of it so obviously I just have my 12 volt here in the middle and then I just have my left and right of my coil pack so you know side A side B whatever you want to call them okay so they're the wires of my coil pack and basically if we look here it's pin 12 and pin 10 is all of these and then of course 8 is a couple of different things, right? Pin 8, as you can see here, is not only the live for the EDOS unit, which is here in the middle, it's the red and white one. I also have my live here, right? Which is running to my ECU. And as you can see now, I have a little fuse holder on it. And basically why I did that is, the ECU needs three amps and the EDOS unit and on the rest of the 12 volt which is also this other 12 volt goes to my coil pack so I just made the three of them connect in here and obviously I'll be taking an extra cable off this to power the whole thing which is going to be a switch live from the ignition which is 15 amps so that's why I have an extra little fuse holder here because I'm coming in with 15 amps and then this I'll just put a 3 amp connector in here to protect the ECU that's all this is nothing there's nothing to it okay so that's that. Next then, obviously, as you can see, this green and black cable here is my uh, ground for my EDOS unit. And all you can see here is just another one. That's just coming from my ECU. That's just my ground for my ECU. And then I've just brought them to one of these little ring connectors because when I bolt my EDOS unit, I will actually just put a bolt through this and I'll have another ring connector which will connect to the ground in the car. So that if I had to take out the unit or whatever, I won't have to be cutting any cables. I'll just have two rings together. So when I unbolt it, they'll disconnect. 
and the whole lot will come out of the car easy for me. Um, and basically that's kind of everything that we've gone through as you can see here we have the ground we have the VR sensor here which is my insulated cable here the pip and the saw link the two shields together and then just your three wires for your coil pack and that's basically it really for the EDOS unit down here now to my coil pack as you can see I just have my three wires just have my three wires and my new connector and you just put the three wires into the connector very simple very simple to do live in the middle side a side b whatever you want to call them do you know that's it and then with the shielded cable as we can see here now from my vr sensor i just don't have the i just don't have the connector on it yet but you can see the metal inside the wire so when you're connecting this as i said you loop it at the edos unit in coil in pin 7 okay but at this end and at the ecu end with the shielded cable you just cut the braiding inside it off you don't connect that to anything so that only gets connected at the edos unit okay in pin 7 and obviously as you can see here this is just my sensor on my bracket that will just go on to my cam pulley, or sorry, my crank pulley. That'll just spin around, 36 teeth, one missing. And that's all that that's with that. We've gone through the coil pack and the three wires. And we've gone through every wire in the EGOS unit. Okay, so that's it out of me. Please like and share and by all means, give me a comment. Thanks very much.